Hey everyone, today I'll be showing you how to do the hairstyle sported by Chao Mo Wan, the character portrayed by Tony Leung in the movies In the Mood for Love and 2846. Now, In the Mood for Love takes place during the Mad Men era, 1962, in Hong Kong. So this is one of those mid-century retro really slick hairstyles, which is pretty much what my channel is for and based around. So my hair right now, it should look more or less something like this, except it's not the final result. I literally just combed it out of the shower. This is just me with damp hair without any product, but it should look better when I actually do apply some product in there. So first of all, let's talk about the cut. Now, what I've noticed is that in those movies, Tony Leung had more of a, a long trim on the sides rather than a taper. You don't really see so much of a taper. Well, he did sport a similar hairstyle in the movie, The Grandmaster, which takes place somewhere between the 30s to the early 50s, and he had a mid taper, but in in the mood for love, it's just more of a long trim, mostly a lot of scissor work, and that's pretty much how my hair is cut right now. It's actually made for a long trim pompadour, but of course at this length you can expect it to be pretty versatile, and so I'll be showing you how to do an executive contour, a long trim executive contour, which is more or less also the um, Dawn Draper hairstyle, but for Asian men. Now let's talk about the products over here. Well, you can use pomade, that's pretty much, you'll get the best results for that. And I'll be using what is widely available in Asia in around that era during the 50s, 60s. And I have right here, Tancho, a Japanese pomade, which I've done a review on already. And is one of my favorite classic pomades, the shiniest stuff I've ever used actually. And so you can expect this would be more or less the kind of products they would use um, in that particular location during that particular time period. You can also use um, hair gel of pomade, it's not so much for jam. Well, hair creams do work if your hair is fine enough, but I think for most Asian men, we would prefer to use pomade or gel, something a little stronger than hair cream. So right now you want to start with uh, damp hair. Strong stuff. Yeah, Tantra is a pretty strong scent. And I'll take a finger scoop of this stuff first. You wouldn't want to overdo it with pomade. Less is more. Just start with small scoops. Rub that in. And apply it to your hair. And my sides, by the way, are actually, well, this long. I believe that's a little longer than what he had in the movie. But the top is at a similar length because in some scenes where um, his hair is messed up, you can see that the front reach, reaches down towards his eyebrows, which is more or less, well, eye level at most. But, you know, if it's a little curled like this, and in the movie as well, it goes down to his eyebrows, which is more or less a similar length. So I pretty much have the right cut for this already. Now I'm going to apply one more scoop of the goop. Rhyme intended. Apply this to the top. And of course, because us Asians, we're notorious for having more fluffy sides. You want to apply a bit more to the back and sides, but if you have more of a, an appropriate length like mine, you wouldn't have to worry about it too much. And if you want better results to um, ensure your hair is as slick as possible, you can apply a hair tonic, especially those that are slicker with more oil content. Preferably an oil-based hair tonic, or at least an alcohol-based hair tonic with oil. You can apply a few drops of that in your hair when it's damp, and then blow dry it. And after that, you can apply pomade. Well, that step is optional, but if you want better, slicker results, you can go ahead and do that. So right now, my hair is looking super shiny, appropriately, for this hairstyle. And we have our product in. So you want to slick it back using a standard comb, of course. I prefer to use the white tooth and slick it all back.
And the reason for doing this is to distribute all the product in there. Then you want to take one of those comb lines to form our part. Well, you would want to find where your natural part is if you have one, but preferably where your eyebrows start to curve, that's basically where your part should line up with. It should line up with the turning point of your eyebrow pretty much. And keep it as, if you take this um, comb line method for parting your hair, you'll get results that are clean, as clean as possible for your side part. And for the sides, you would want to comb them diagonally because that's what he had in the movie. Well, a little backwards, but more so diagonally. And because Tonsho is a sticky, a really sticky pomade, this is super slick stuff, and your hair would look especially tight with it, which is what you want. And as it goes toward the back, it goes even more straight down, and you comb the back straight down as well. Now for the top, you would want to start around the crown, where you're just coming directly to the sides. And then you'd stop somewhere near the front. And for the front, you want to come in diagonally. Just like that. And as you get closer to the imported side, you would want to comb it straight back. And as you comb the front, you just want to pat it down as well after you slick it. So slick, pat down. And the unparted side should go straight back. And it's that easy. We're pretty much done, except I just want to just adjust some final things here. Just ensuring that the sides are slicker, slick as possible. So, diagonal sides, I mean on the, on the parted side, and on the, and on the unparted side, it's straight back. And the top just sweeps at a diagonal angle. And that is pretty much it. Really easy to do a hairstyle, super slick and very retro, and one of the manliest um, hairstyles you can actually do. Just fixing the back just one more time, coming it straight down. And that is it. Really simple to do. And I'll show how my hair looks under proper lighting. The thing about this particular hairstyle is that the contour bump at front is not too obvious as it is in other contours. So this one doesn't have so much of a boop to it. It's more or less at the same level with the rest of the top of the hair. Now this is exactly how Tony Loon would have it in those movies, but if you want more of a Mad Men spin, it's something that looks more like what John Hamm would sport it as Don Draper in Mad Men, you'd want to comb the sides directly back instead of diagonal. If your hair is the right length for it. And for the top, you just want to make it go a little more curved. Slightly into some sort of or motion going upwards instead of super diagonally. Pat it down as well. And just as usual, the other part of the side should go straight back. And the contour bump should be a little more obvious, so you want to pull um, the front a little more, just you would with the palm there very slightly. And you would want to fix the crown again to go directly towards the sides. You would do this before you form the contour bump. 
Then you wave the front again into this semicircular upwards curve thing. Well, this hairstyle, Don Draper and Tony Leon more or less had the same hairstyles. They would call them executive contours, except they're very slight differences. Like I said, the contour bump is more obvious with the Don Draper one and the front is a little more up and wavy. Well, Tony Leung's one is just straight diagonal. And of course, the parted side going all the way back instead of diagonal. This is more of the Mad Men spin on it. And a word of advice, if you really want to ensure that your sides look as possible, something I should have mentioned a little earlier, you can go ahead and use a boar's hairbrush. I used this a lot of my earlier side part tutorials when my sides were a lot shorter. So now this is the um, Dawn Draper version of it. just more upwards. And there should be a slightly more obvious contour bump. And the part of the side, of course, is all the way backwards. So that is it. That's my mid-century side part, the executive contour for Asian hair and for a long trim cut. And this one just looks really period accurate to the side, so just super slicked back. Well, you can also opt for a taper as well, that also does give you a retro look, but personally, nowadays, I just love the long trim look. It just, to me, it just gives more of a retro feel. And if you really enjoyed this tutorial and learned a lot from it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe to this channel, click the bell icon so don't miss a single upload of The Squinny Show, and I'll see you next time on The Squinny Show.